Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. Today we have some special tutorial about the exterior rendering about this building in here. This is one of the uh, full detail 3D modeling SketchUp files I have ever done in this place in here. And this is the uh, Enscape environment. So I'm going to click on the Enscape, maximize my screen and I can orbit to see the environment. My HDRI related to the uh, white cubes and the uh, city space, and my main house is the uh, this house. As you can see, all the details are very simple and easy, and the architecture and design model of this house related to the uh, modern design and architecture. So, I'm gonna start my rendering with the uh, choosing my camera position. So. Some type of camera position like this can be really good. And because I have too much pitch on my camera, I want to use the uh, two point perspective for my rendering. So from this place, I'm going to change my perspective to the uh, two point perspective. Now I'm going to activate the uh, safe frame in here. And if I change the uh, time of the day with holding shift on my keyboard and holding right click on my cursor, you can see the changes very simple something like that so I want to create some type of night or day render the mixture of it but I don't know how so I'm gonna fix some type of sky like this some purple clouds in here and I'm gonna click on the visual setting and decrease the field of view a little bit on my environment so I'm going to turn it to the uh, 60 degree horizontal and I think some type of camera setting like this is really wonderful. But it's a little bit maybe too high for this value but it's not important. Something like this. Alright. I'm going to hold Ctrl U and I to change the uh, sun direction and global illumination on my project. Something like this. You can download this file profile and link below this video so you can download it and train with this video completely step by step and let's get to continuing I'm gonna click on the visual setting in here and I want to start my job with the sky and clouds so I'm gonna click on the sky box and increase the density to see what happened in my sky as you can see the intensity of the clouds can be increased or decreased. I want some clear sky so I change density, variety and Cyrus amount to the zero or I can increase the Cyrus amount to make some artistic renders in here. Control is not important and variety is not important too. I can change the latitude and latitude of the uh, clouds. So look at the sky in here. When I change it I can see the movement of the uh, clouds in here and something like that can be really wonderful. So I'm gonna click on the atmosphere bar. I don't need any type of fog in my environment. Some brightness is completely and totally zero and the night sky brightness if I increase it I can see a little bit brightness in my environment. It depends on your graphic card and your system. So I'm going to change rendering quality to the medium mode or the high mode to see all the changes at the same time. So I'm going to decrease the Cyrus amount to see what happened. It's not bad, it's good. And I want to restore the latitude and latitude. I want to decrease the night sky brightness to the 40 and shadow sharpness is not important actually at nights we usually have some type of soft shadows so i prefer to use some number like 10 percent artificial light brightness related to these spotlights in here when i increase the artificial light brightness you can see inside the house completely burn with the uh, artificial sphere lights so i'm going to reduce it to some type of normal number like the uh, 110 percent and ambient brightness is not important at all so it's about 10 and wind is zero so i'm going to click on the image bar and i want to use the auto contrast setting in here about the saturation 
If I want much more vibrance on my render color, I can increase the saturation. Look at these cars light in here. When I increase the saturation, you can see some red light in here. And it's not really realistic at all. So I prefer to use 100% for it and the color temperature. If I want some cold render, I can increase it. And if I want some warm render, I can decrease it. I prefer to increase it a little bit, about 8000 Kelvin. Motion blur is zero. And lens flare. If I increase the bloom option, look at these lights in here. Bloom option. And lens flare together, I can see flares on my render. But if you want some clear render and sharp render, you can decrease bloom option under 10%. And lens flare about 22%. Alright, it's good. Vignate is 0, chromatic 0. And the main bar is the exposure. I turn off the auto exposure to see what happened. And now I can change it manually about some number like 60% or 64%. Something like that is really good. Field of view is good and the depth of field. I turn on the depth of field and turn off the autofocus. And now I can change the focal point on the house or on the street. I prefer to use it automatically. So I want to restore it and turn on the autofocus. And depth of field is some number about 4%. Now it's much better. So I'm going to minimize this Enscape bar in here. And I have some problems with some lights in here. So I'm going to start my job with the, uh, these cars light in this place. I'm going to click on the uh, SketchUp Paint bucket. And click on the uh, Enscape Material Library. So I'm going to pick this eyedropper in here. And I want to select these cars light in this place. I want to go to inside of this house and it's on the self illuminate. When I decrease the power of it, you can see the change is very simple and easy. But I prefer to use some number around 4000 candela per meter. And when I change and orbit a little bit in my environment, I can touch the uh, main light in here. So I'm going to click on the sample paint in here, pick this color up, click on the Enscape Material Editor. And this is the uh, light in here. So I'm going to find the uh, light in this place. I think light. And when I change the color of it, for example, to the white, you can see the change is very simple and easy. It completely depends on you. So I prefer to use, for example, white color in here or some color like the uh, gold color some color like the gold color and it's not bad so something like this is really good and another one related to the uh, car's body so for this reason i'm going to move a little bit to the outside like that click on the uh sample paint in here pick the colors body in here look at these bmw's body in this place when i decrease the roughness to the zero you can see complete reflection of the HDRI and white cubes on my surface. But I want to increase it a little bit to clear and convert some material like the Amate. So 34% is good. I'm going to activate it for it. It takes a little bit time and after that you can see the changes very simple and easy. The spectra is about 65%. And also I can change the color to the white or to the uh, black. It completely depends on you. I prefer to use dark gray in here. And everything is done for me. I can change the color a little bit to some type of cayenne. And it's over. So I think everything is done in here right now. And time for the rendering. But I don't know how. So I'm going to. Go a little bit to the downside. Some type of camera position like this. I can go a little bit to the forward. And everything is done right now. 
So I'm going to convert the uh, rendering quality to the ultra mode and I'm going to click on the output and I'm going to change it to the HD resolution. So I only want to click on the screenshot job in here and I want to save it on my desktop version plan easy with the PNG file. So I'm going to click on the save option in here and Enscape will start rendering for me like this. As you can see, these type of projects are really simple and easy for rendering and creating some realistic images. So this is the final result that we have in here. It shows the uh, Enscape power and your rendering skill. I'm going to click on to open it and this is the final result that we have in here. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for your watching, thanks for your support and goodbye.